This is the 13th and last video in a series intended to teach you how to use the tools in the Family Search Research Wiki to help locate records about your ancestors in Italy. When tracing an Italian immigrant back to Italy, you will need this information to correctly identify him in the records of Italy. Of course, his name, but the parents' names would be really helpful too. You will need to know the exact town that he came from and at least an approximate time of an event that would have taken place in Italy, such as a birth or a marriage or a death. This article, listed in the notes below this video, is a checklist of all the types of records that you can use that will help you make that link back to Italy. We'll focus on passenger arrival lists and naturalization records. The records I will be showing you are typical of records that you would see after 1906. Prior to then, the records are not as helpful. This is an example of a 1921 passenger arrival list. Here it asks for the last personal address, country, and town. At least hard to read because it's crossed out, but we've got Italy, Genoa, Italy, Turin, Italy, Savona. But another useful feature it has is it will give the name and full address of the nearest relative in Italy. Here, for example, they've listed a brother and his address, and that's extremely helpful. In the passenger arrivals list section of Italy gathering information to locate place of origin, you will find several passenger lists that are specific to Italian immigrants. And then a link to United States Immigration Online Genealogy Records. This page is a huge collection. I'm going to show you some tools to help search it more efficiently. First of all, you can go to Ancestry.com. This is a subscription website, but you can search it for free at a local family history center. I'll put the address for finding your local family history center in the notes below. When you get to Ancestry.com, you go to search and you select immigration and travel. For these passenger lists, you would come over here and select passenger lists. After I show you the citizenship record, you'll do the same thing, but come here for citizenship and naturalization records. Secondly, you can go to Family Search, use the Search drop-down menu, and select Records. This will search all of the historical records at Family Search, which includes some immigration and citizenship records. If your relatives have told you the port that your immigrant ancestor arrived at and the approximate year, you can search specifically by that port using the next tool. One Step Web Pages is a site that can really help organize your passenger list search. The address for this will also be in the notes below the video. Applications for citizenship in the 1900s can be absolutely lovely. Look at all the information in this one. You have the birthplace and birth date, the information on the husband's citizenship, the marriage date and place, the husband's birthplace and date, the port that they entered and the date that they came in, and the names, birth dates, and birthplace of all their children. The United States Naturalization Online Genealogy Records will give you links to databases of these citizenship applications. Unfortunately, citizenship records prior to 1907 don't give as much detail. You are looking for citizenship records not by the port they entered in, but by the state or county that they were living in at the time they were naturalized. So if they moved a lot, you may have to check several locations. Again, this is a massive amount of databases, and so you'll want to use the shortcuts that I taught you earlier, Ancestry.com, and the Family Search Records search engine. Now you try it. Try to locate citizenship records 
and the passenger lists for your Italian immigrant ancestor, especially if they arrived after 1906. First, from the Italy Origins article, try the passenger lists that are specific for Italians. Next, the shortcuts I showed you that will search many databases all at once. Then go to Stephen Morris's One Step pages and try searching the specific time period and the specific port. And then finally, use the two online genealogy records pages to look for databases that are not included in the other searches.